Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again and we are back to our usual weather analysis for this new week of September September 15 to 17, Wednesday through Friday 2021 and uh, this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 Well, uh, it's all clear across the Pacific right now except for uh, a weak low pressure area that has entered the Philippine area of responsibility Here's the latest graph set for today, Wednesday until tomorrow, uh, Thursday. Here comes LPA 97W. It's quite a weak system. Its uh, circulation is uh, quite disorganized, with most of its uh, mid-level circulation center uh, to the northwest of the low-level center. So it's not aligned, and it's uh, bringing some rains and thunderstorms in advance across the Bicol region, Visayas, and Mindanao. So this is what we call as the trough or the extension from this LPA 97W. So within the next 24 hours, it, it has a low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. So uh, nothing to worry about. But uh, uh, through the weekend, we expect the uh, trough of this LPA upon its traverse across uh, uh, Visayas and Southern Luzon out into the West Philippine Sea this weekend. We expect to, that it will bring lots of thunderstorms because of this trough. Okay, so it's it's, it's a quite a large area of uh, uh, inclement weather uh, with rains and thunderstorms. Uh, early this afternoon in Quezon City, there, there's a strong uh, severe thunderstorms that brought some hail. Uh, thunder, lightning, strong winds, as well as um, uh, some eyewitnesses uh, accounts that there are uh, possible small uh, 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 gasnado. Okay, but uh, this is uh, common when we have a severe thunderstorm, especially now, September, August, September. These are common for severe thunderstorms across various portions of the Philippines. Outside of Par, we have a long intertropical convergence zone. These are converging winds from the northeast and southeast. And up north, we have still tropical storm Chantu, no longer a typhoon. It weakened while remaining quasi-stationary to the east of Shanghai. And it remained uh, to the south of Yellow Sea or to the northern part of, uh, along the northern part of the East China Sea. And the monsoon trough is connected to the remnants of uh, uh, Jolina somewhere there. It's just a ghostly image of a tropical uh, disturbance. And uh, Shanto is now uh, uh, connected with a frontal system to the south and east of uh, Japan. So within the next five days, this storm will uh, move into the uh, Korea Strait and into the Sea of Japan with some models traversing uh, the uh, Japanese uh, uh, islands. And uh, it is expected to become an extra-tropical cyclone once it crosses the country of Japan. So let's go back to 97W. It's currently around uh, 1,000 kilometers east of, uh, of uh, Giwan, Eastern Samar, and it's along the boundary of the Philippine Area of Responsibility. Like I said, the circulation is uh, somewhat elongated and uh, it's not aligned with most of its rain bands ahead of the low level circulation center. But in the next couple of days, there might be some organization of this LPA. But uh, we are going to show you the latest models from the European model as well as the American model. What will be the output of uh, what will be the outcome of this uh, LPA within the next uh, three to five days? Now here's the fast animation. So early this morning into the early afternoon, the uh, rain bands of this uh, the uh, trough of this LPA, the LPA somewhere here, as you can see, these are the advanced uh, mid-level center, mid-level circulation center, which moved into the Bicol region. So expect that to dissipate and another uh, formation is expected near the center. And if we look at the zoom in satellite animation, as usual, these are the localized thunderstorms across various sections of the sun, including Metro Manila. Uh, the uh, strong thunderstorm that occurred over Quezon City, let's go back at around 1.30, that's it. That's the uh, strong thunderstorms. Uh, okay. 
that formed in the vicinity of uh, Quezon City that uh, experienced some hail. Uh, here also over the uh, Naga City area and parts of the 3rd District of Kamangani Sur, some strong um, thunderstorm has developed and brought some heavy rainfall across Naga City and nearby areas. As well as different portions of the archipelago, uh, we expect these local, local thunderstorms to persist through the weekend as well as the approach of this uh, LPA 97W which remains uh, weak as of this time. Here's the uh, track of all agencies on Chandu. Like I said, it will cross over the areas of Japan. Let's take a look now to our forecast uh, on the rain and wind from the uh, European model, courtesy of windy.com. So tomorrow there comes the uh, uh, LPA 97W bringing still thunderstorms across uh, various portions of Visayas, Mindanao, and the Bicol region. And on Friday afternoon, the uh, shallow LPA will start to uh, traverse uh, Visayas and uh, will still bring lots of thunderstorms across southern Luzon, while local convections, local thunderstorms across uh, central and northern Luzon, as well as Palawan and uh, Mindanao. And on sat Saturday afternoon, the uh, LPA is expected to uh, be reforming over the west of the Philippines, over the West Philippine Sea, as it moves towards Vietnam. And on Sunday afternoon, uh, here comes the uh, LPA becoming uh, more uh, uh, stronger. It's likely to become an active LPA and even a tropical depression outside already of the Philippine area responsibility. And on Monday, September 20th, here comes the LPA moving uh, closer to the coastal areas of central Vietnam. Elsewhere, across the Philippine Islands, the normal uh, afternoon or evening uh, isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will prevail for the next uh, uh, five to uh, six days. Okay. If we uh, take a look at the American model, it's all the same. Uh, uh, no uh, development, just the uh, weak LPA crossing uh, the uh, uh, Philippine Islands across Visayas and the Big Rock region. So it's all the same, the same with the European model. Unlike a few days ago, it shows a tropical cyclone. But uh, like I said, the American model is always like that. Now, let's take a look at the latest tropical cyclone threat potential from Pagasa. It was issued around uh, September 13, 2 a.m. So, this is for the next two weeks, beginning uh, September 13 until September 26, for, for week one. This is September 13 to uh, 19. So, this is now the uh, current LPA that is expected to approach uh, eastern sections of the Visayas and the Bicol region. And uh, the probability of this is uh, low. While on week 2, September 20 to 26, which has a very high uncertainty as of this point, since uh, they use the models from the uh, American model, so uh, there's no uh, European model here, it shows that the, this LPA will uh, eventually become active with high likelihood of becoming a tropical cyclone over the West Philippine Sea, South China Sea area, and over along the uh, coastal areas of uh, Vietnam. And there's, there will be another one, LPA, approaching the um, Visayas and Bicol Peninsula. But this uh, probability is uh, very low as of this time. As you can see here on the latest Global Tropics Hazards and Benefits Outlook of the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, it's quite similar with uh, the one issued by Pagasa. Uh, it says here uh, September 15 to 21. Uh, the uh, threat of a tropical cyclone formation at 50% uh, probability or medium chance. It's not high chance, so there's nothing to worry about. And above average rainfall, which is high, okay, is expected across uh, southern Luzon, Visayas, Mimaropa, and Mindanao. And on week 2, September 22 to 28, again, the Philippine Islands is under a medium or moderate chance of a possible formation of a tropical cyclone, so 50% probability, so it won't, uh, it's not yet sure if this will push through. Okay, so we will keep you updated in the coming uh, days, particularly next week, but so far, uh, the, the only these uh, localized thunderstorms uh, is ex are expected across various portions 
of the Philippine Islands. Now, before we leave you, we here's the latest uh, uh, La Nina update from the uh, Climate Prediction Center of NOAA as well as the Columbia uh, Climate School of International Research Institute for Climate Anxiety or uh, IRI. So it shows here that uh, based on the latest, there might be a renewed uh, formation of La Nina this coming fall, beginning October. So this time, this time, October, November, December, until uh, February uh, time frame. Okay, October 2021 to February 2022. It shows here around uh, almost 80% probability of a uh, renewed La Nina. So likely it will be a weak or a moderate La Nina. We will uh, see to it, and uh, we will see when October arrives. So uh, right now. We are now having a high likelihood of another La Nina, but let's hope and pray tropical cyclone formation will remain uh, uh, away from the Philippine Islands or west of the Philippine Islands, but let's all pray to those uh, countries that will get affected, particularly over Vietnam, when we have a strong uh, La Nina or even moderate La Nina, there might be a formation closer to uh, Vietnam. But usually in the Philippines, uh, during La Nina, uh, there are some La Nina events that one or two super typhoons develops, but overall, majority of them, most of the formation is west of the Philippines with some tropical depression or LPAs or even tropical storm, but uh, low probability of, of having a uh, t super typhoon intensity. But because of a different climate situation right now, we have a uh, warming of the sea surface temperature because of climate change, global warming. So it's uh, it's very different nowadays. So there might be, I'm not saying there will be, but let's hope there will be no super typhoon that will form. As you can see, last year we uh, witnessed uh, three back-to-back -back, uh, typhoons in the span of 17 days. In the span of 17 days, crossing Southern Luzon, Bicol region. So let's hope and pray it won't happen again for this year. So uh, we will keep you updated, okay, in the coming days, weeks, and uh, the last quarter of this year, if uh, there's any uh, formation. But let's hope and pray it will all recurve and not affect any parts of our country. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for today, Wednesday, and we will return on Friday to give you more update on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always, hashtag WeatherWiser, and thank you so much for watching our channel.